Thanks. Hi guys, welcome back to 6th year part of the Arduino tutorials. So in today's video, we'll be working on sliding potentiometer. Most of you guys might be already familiar with this normal potentiometer in which the resistance varies based on the circular rotation. We have already shown some tutorials to interface with Arduino and control the LED brightness using PWM. If you have missed that video, you can check out from the link in the description box. For some of the projects, there might be requirement to control the actuator based on the linear moment. So in such cases, instead of making complex gear mechanism, you can directly use the sliding potentiometer where the resistance varies based on the vertical or the linear moment. The working principle of this potentiometer is exactly same as a normal one, but connections will be slightly different. So in this video, I'll show you how to use this with the Arduino board and control the LED brightness. So components we require are Arduino board, 10K sliding potentiometer, one LED bulb, and some connecting wires. So moving on to the connection, here on the left side, this will be the ground. And on the right side, first pin will be the signal pin and the second will be the VCC or the 5 volts. The VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground and the signal pin to Arduino analog pin A0. In the LED, the positive terminal goes to PWM digital pin 11 and the negative terminal to Arduino ground. You can refer to the circuit diagram for the reference. Now I'll connect the Arduino board to the computer. Moving on to the code. Since this concept is exactly same as we have learned in this particular video with potentiometer and LED brightness, I don't go in depth. So make sure you check that video once. Starting with the declaration, I have connected the potentiometer to analog pin A0. In the setup, I'll initialize the serial communication since we have to print the ADC values on the serial monitor. I'll declare one more variable, int pot data which will be the values we get through analog pin A0. So I'll use analog read this pin. It'll also print the same. So this is just to read the data from the potentiometer. Let's see what we get on the serial monitor. So we are getting zero on one side. If I start moving the slider to the other end, the values will start increasing and max it goes up to 1023 and minimum is zero. So the next step is to add the logic for LED brightness control. In the declaration, I'll declare LED connected to pin 11. In the setup, we'll set the mode as output. To control the brightness, we have to generate a PWM signal on the digital pin 11. For that, we can use analog write function. The first argument will be the pin number. And in the second argument, we have to pass the duty cycle value which has to be derived 
based on the potentiometer moment. I'll take one more variable brightness. So here we have to map the potentiometer value which is in the range 0 up to 1023 and we need the output in the range 0 to 255 so this will go as a second argument so let's try to upload and see the results As we can see, the brightness of the LED is getting varied based on the slider moment. So this sliding potentiometer can be used for many applications. Recently, we have used this in our Angry Bird game controller project. So that's all for this video. For code and circuit diagram, I leave the link in the description. For more tutorials, stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you for watching.